Hello friends and followers, this is special episode 15, 29 July 2017. This is phase 2 of my experimental toy UFO that I've been developing, the idea, the concept. And I finally got a working prototype in this phase 2. Now I'm using a knitted needle, a plastic one a size 6, two rare earth magnets that repel from the speaker magnets and four speaker magnets that create the field that lifts the um, knitter needle up which is going to be where I hang my plastic model or paper model of a TR3V UFO as you can see in the following video. Now I'm still working with ideas um, so I'll explain it as I show you on the video. I tried to fix the magnets using a block of wood uh, with screws screwed in either side of the magnets. Unfortunately it didn't hold them in very tight, especially the sideways, so I still used some blue tack to stop them moving and that seemed to do the trick. Although the final prototype should be glued on mag magnets or maybe a U-clamp. I'm still figuring ideas here. And because um, there's a box on the end which I've stapled, um, allows me to pinpoint the exact location where the magnets should be put. And all it's doing is, is acting a small force against the knitted needle that wants to move that direction towards the black box on the end and but it's not doing anything apart from stopping it moving but yes you can see it's levitated two inches from the wooden base and it's quite a novelty little idea of having permanent magnets lifting up a um, toy normally you'd have to use a electric um, rotating field on an electromagnetic field to raise the craft up but as you can see you can actually do it with permanent magnets and uh, they always hang there now so what do you think of that idea? Huh? I was thinking maybe um, create a wooden stick on the end where the black box is then I'll stick a magnet on a post there which repels another magnet on the end of the knitter needle so it's permanently pushing away and uh, not touching anything and I think that will make it even better uh, clever looking device then I have to print and design a rectangle UFO to put on the thing and anchor it down with glue and stuff so how do you think of this idea? I'm open to suggestions or other ideas how to improve it. But as you can see, I've dismantled it here and uh, show how it's all floating. And uh, you drop it back into the magnetic field where it just sits there nicely. It's a little bit rough with the screws and the angles and not fully in, but I did that on purpose because it's still I'm still adjusting the the fields. And then I'll take measurements. Um, took hours just to get it in the correct positions. So I'll leave it there until next episode. Take care everybody.